Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. In this video, we are going to talk about why many people can't look down after lockdown. Though COVID caused mass destruction, it increased the mass of an individual person by increasing the belly size. If you take a picture from space, it looks like as if the earth is pregnant and sun is throwing a baby shower by saying congratulations. Ninga amma vaporinga. My friend Saravna Kumar is like, thank God the virus is gone, there is no big problem. I said the bigger problem is the size of your belly. It looks as if it is a ticking time bomb ready to be exploded in 3 minutes. The only problem is to defuse the bomb, we cannot throw just the belly portion alone into the well. We need to throw the whole body. How do you know that you are like my friend Saravna Kumar? I want you guys to be a tailor for few seconds. Take an inch tape. Measure around the belly button. If the size is more than 80 centimeters for women and more than 90 centimeters in men, congratulations, this video is tailor made for you. So the inch tape should be around the belly button and not at the place where your pants on, it is above it. Please make sure that you do this the first thing in the morning. Do not have any clothes on and most importantly, do not inhale like this. Please exhale. Nobody is taking you for a police interview. Please be honest to yourself. Don't involve your mom. If your mom is like my mom, she'll be like, what? You have 102 centimeters. You are so thin. There's no way inch tape might be wrong. Put it as 92 centimeters. If you meet any of these criteria, you need to take the action right now. You cannot postpone things. Abdominal obesity increases the risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke. And more importantly, if you get COVID, the risk of complications is even higher. As I mentioned before, obesity can also cause cancer and cancer will kill you. So please take that action right now. Please do not postpone things. This is not like our final exams where we can postpone things till the last minute. At least in the exam, we could write something to fill up the paper in the last minute. If you get a heart attack, that is your last minute. No time to do push-ups at that time because your heart is doing push-ups at that time. To decrease the belly fat, you need to understand how belly fat is formed. I have explained this in detail on my previous two videos. I have mentioned that link in the description. In short, there are only two ways to get belly fat. Number one, if you eat more than what you should. Most of the times, if you eat yummy, you will get a tummy. As I have mentioned before, I was obese before. There were two reasons for it. Mainly my mom and my wife. My mom is like, My wife is like, The second reason for belly fat is if you eat food at the wrong time. I asked my friend Saravna Kumar, what time do you eat? He is like, I will eat whenever my heart tells me to. Amma, if you have a VTV symbol, Jesse, Jesse, and Soto, and Pussy, Pussy, and Soto, the situation is very messy. So, to decrease belly fat, you need to control any of the two factors. The first factor of eating more than what you should is very difficult to control right away. It requires a lot of willpower. But the second factor is easy to be focused upon regarding the time that you are eating. Why this is important? Because similar to us, where we sleep at night and then get recharged and then wake up in the morning, all our hormones do the same thing as well. They have a particular sleep period. They have a particular wake up period. For example, growth hormone, which is a repair hormone, which increases the growth of the body, not the horizontal growth, the vertical growth of the body is secreted only at night. Insulin, which is a hormone which decreases fat and builds up the body, is secreted during the day when there is sunlight and when people are active. Growth hormone is like Batman who repairs a city of Gotham at night. Insulin is like a superman who flies from one side to other during the day when there is sunlight. Insulin is secreted by pancreas and it is the most important hormone when you eat glucose or carbohydrate rich foods to convert the glucose molecules to energy. You need insulin to be at its 100% quality whenever the load is heavy, especially after an Indian get together. But think about it. Insulin is very tired after being worked out during the day and after sunset, it is going to take some rest. But most of the Indian get togethers happen only after sunset. And when you eat something after sunset, it is like waking the insulin up. You are asking insulin to wake up like the Anjali movie. Endra Anjali, Endra, Endra Anjali, Endra. And insulin is like, Na pakkathe vittla porundurukla. 
எயித்த வீட்டில் பிறந்திருக்கலாம் போயும் போயும் இவன் பாடியில் பிறந்து நான் படுற பாடு இருக்கேன் Insulin is like a government employee who works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you make it work like an IT employee, you will not get the best out of it. You will find all these emails which says please find attachments but there will be no attachments. Not only insulin, usually all eating hormones dies down after sunset and their quality goes down significantly if we wake them up. It's almost similar to buying a full length pant at a 50% discount of low quality and after washing, this full pant becomes half pant. So if you eat a gulab jamun after sunset, initially the insulin will be like that's okay, I will digest this for you. But in due course of time, it will try to cut corners and will digest only half of the gulab jamun and the remaining half it will park in your belly. After a while, there will be no space in the belly to store the fat. So the fat will migrate into heart, liver and brain causing heart attack. Imagine the gulab jamun that you ate traveled all the way from the belly into the blood vessels of your heart blocking the circulation completely. Allahudine vandalo anda ka kusum abu ka busum tirandide seese aprin sonnalu block thorakar. The gulab jamun that you ate looks very good right now but and the jamun pota fat jam mean la kuda edukamudiyad. Here is what you should do. First, you need to understand what is your eating pattern and the timing of your eating. So, please take a notepad maybe in your phone and write down the first bite or drink that you are taking in the day. For example, if you wake up around like 7 a.m. and drinks a coffee at 7.30 a.m., then 7.30 a.m. will be your first bite. Anything other than water is considered as first bite, preferable to avoid black coffee as well. If you absolutely like black coffee, that's totally okay. Anything other than water, like adding lemon in the water, adding vodka in the water, all that is considered as first bite. Similarly, towards the end of the day, when you have your last bite or drink, that will be considered as the end of your eating period. For example, if your last drink is around like 8 p.m., let's say you drink a milk, then 8 p.m. will be considered as your last uh, end of the eating period. So from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. would be a 12-hour eating period. More importantly, you should time the eating period with sunrise and sunset. Your eating period cannot go beyond 12 hours. If you want the best results, it is best to stick to an eating period of 8 hours between the sunrise and sunset. So what I do is I eat my first drink or bite at around like 7 a.m. in the morning where the sun rises and then finish my dinner around like 5.30, 6 p.m. where the sun sets. Eating period will be like a PT period where the time runs very fast but the fasting period will test your patience like the history period. After sunset, similar to the world war that we learned in history class, there will be a war called battle of food that runs in your mind between gulab jamun and water. Choose water or else you will become a history. But if you keep eating gulab jamun even after sunsets, insulin will be loyal to you like katappa. You might think that nee en udambil irukkum varai ennai kolla oru gulab jamun innum pirakkavilla insulin. But instead of killing the gulab jamun, the insulin might kill you. Irutla katti konja slip aayiruchu. As I have mentioned many times before, being aware of the problem is the first step towards any solution. So please document your eating period starting from your first bite to last bite and please write down in the comment section regarding the exact timing. For example, you wake up at 9 a.m. and have your first drink around 9.30, please write down 9.30 a.m. and let's say you drink a glass of milk at 10 p.m. before you go to bed, write 10 p.m. So your eating period is between 9.30 a.m. and 10 p.m. and I want that in the comment section so that I can reply to each and every one of you to see how you can decrease this eating period to promote belly fat loss. In future videos, we'll talk about solutions to tackle this problem. But first of all, you should know that there is a problem. Imagine your body is the earth, belly is the moon and your foot is the sun. Everybody when you look down, there is a solar eclipse going on. You cannot see the sun. At least in the universe, solar eclipse lasts only for a maximum of 7.5 minutes. But this belly eclipse, it is high time you do something about the belly eclipse. If not, all you will see is full moon throughout your life. Stay safe, get vaccinated. Gee, sorry. This is not a COVID video, so one belly at a time, it is absolutely important. I'll see you in the next video.